This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at biofuels. Biofuels are fuels whose energy is obtained from biological carbon fixation. Carbon fixation is a process that takes inorganic carbon, for example, the carbon in carbon dioxide, and converts it into organic compounds. Here we have an example of carbon fixation. This is the equation for photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, carbon dioxide reacts with water in the presence of sunlight to form glucose and oxygen. The carbon in the carbon dioxide is fixed into glucose, which is an organic compound. The glucose produced in photosynthesis can be fermented to produce ethanol, which can be used as a biofuel. Ethanol can be produced by fermenting starchy plants such as corn, wheat, barley or potatoes. Here we have the equation for the process in which glucose is fermented to form ethanol and carbon dioxide. This process is carried out at a temperature of approximately 37 degrees C in anaerobic conditions by yeast, which provides an enzyme to catalyze the reaction. The ethanol produced in fermentation can be mixed with gasoline. For example, gasohol is a mixture of 90% gasoline and 10% ethanol. Brazil was one of the first countries to make widespread use of ethanol blended with gasoline. The ethanol is produced from sugarcane. Here we have a picture of a gasoline pump in Brazil. As you can see, ethanol is available as a fuel. And finally, we look at the advantages and disadvantages of biofuels. Biofuels are renewable and readily available. If crops are regrown, biofuels can be sustainable. Next, we look at the disadvantages. The production of crops for biofuels means less land is available for food crops. Biofuels have lower specific energy than fossil fuels. And growing and harvesting crops for biofuels produces large amounts of carbon dioxide. In addition, large amounts of fertilizers are also required.